All right, Chapter 7, Welding for Special Applications, TM58057. Chapter 7, Welding Special Applications, General. Uh, this chapter is discussing welding application for the concrete reinforced steel bars, reinforced um, railroad crane rails, the coasting with the composition of the materials of the application welding procedure must be qualified with the suitable testing appendix B for the personal skill within the special specific process being used to be doing the welding, doing, doing, must do the, used to be, must do the welding. 7-2, reinforcement of steel bars. While it's with the large diameter of high strength, the reinforcement bars have been welded in this place. If the very important welding is required for the hard for the impractical overlap of the bars, re relaying of the surface the surrounding concrete to transmit the load of the from one bar to the other. Yet, mo um, many of the reinforcement steel bars are classified hard to weld because of the unfavorable chemical composition of hard carbon equivalent. Some of the specifications prohibit the arc welding reinforcement um, steels with the carbon contents exceeding of the 5 tenths of the percent. The pre procedure for the welding splice with the reinforcement steel has been used successfully since the middle of the 1930s, the shield metal arc welding and thermite welding have been made, um, been most popular method for the joining reinforcement bars for the field construction of the pressure gas of the subject, uh, subject um, submerged arc welding of the process of the force shop welding, gas metal arc welding, and the flux core arc welding also have been successful in the past few years. When reinforcement bars are to be um, for concrete are to be welded, with one most to the term of the seal composition patching matching of the welding procedure. However, it does not uh, does it hard positively identify with the new and US for used reinforcement bars, especially with those of the splices are being made. But the structures can be enlarged with the benefit of the either the positive identification of the reinforcement bars. The positively steel chemistry may be re um, remaining reinforcement bars usually conform to the American Society testing material methods, with the ba which base the requirements of physical properties often do specifically um, steel chemistry welding structure welding should perform with the American Welding Society D12.1 of the specification deal with the permissible stress and the unload unit stress of the welding, effective welding areas of the length, the throat, throat thickness, structural details for the welding and transition of bar side of the specific splice qualification to work with the splice details of the lab weld the splice of the details and connection, interconnections of precast cam members of the American Welding Society D12.1 also discusses workmanship technique qualification inspection of the joints. B strength requirement. The strength of the weld that is specified with the reinforced steel bars can be determined with the ultimate strength method of working with the stroke. That's the method of American Welding Society um, D12.1. Table 2 describes the two joint weld that made a bit metal base used with the two methods of determining strength with the both directed and indirect bolts for the butt spaces. Splice is the requirement for the transition strength of um, level that is also discussed in American Concrete Institute ACI 318. Um, welding procedure joint reinforcement bars can be made into several ways of shield metal arc welding, gas metal arc welding, flux core arc welding, welding thermite welding, and pressure ga gas welding. American Welding Society D12 1. Section 5 detail of the procedure to be used with the various welding procedure. American Welding Society D12 1 with the table 5 1 shows the various types of electro materials to be used with the three arc welding process. The thermite, pressure, thermite and pressure gas welding to do not require the filler metals. American Welding Society D12 1 table of the 5 2 shows the preheating temperature to be used with the various carbon. Have, have, have equivalents of reinforcement bars with a different size. B, um, D, mechanical butt slices. Butt slices, um, splices and reinforcement steel bars can also be had be made mechanically if the splice method has been developed which uses the exothermic process molten filler metal to put in its annular space between the bar and the high strength High strength um, steel sleeve with the in, inside the diameter la larger than the overall diameter other than the bar. Since the strength of the joint does not depend on the fusion of the filler metal to reinforce steel with the sleeve, with it, this is classified as a mechanical butt joint, a mechanical joint rather than a well displaced. E contract specification. Contract specification should include the requirements of the procedure qualification, welder and welder operator qualifications and inspection. The inspection should cover the material, the equipment necessary to conduct the welding procedure with the qualification of the welder, the welder operator, the completed work with the records, the work qualification test must be conducted. On the same material will there be used with the actual construction requirements with the welding procedure should be covered with the material specification of the welding process to be used. Position of the weld and the filler metal specific classification, the type of the pass from the single or multiple pass the procedure should also include the requirements for the preheating inner pass, temperature and the post weld heat trim heat temperature treatment is required. Seven three rail. Advantages of the welding, welding railroad, and crane rail joints over the several advantages. Continuous rail needs to be less maintenance with wear less than rails that have joint ends of the bolted connections. Lo load, rail, load rolls can smoothly um, from the joint to joint. Most railroads is welded in a shop of one quarter of a mile length of either the pressure gas of the welding, flashing weld, the welding in. The field can be done by using the exothermic process described in the American Welding Society Welding Handbook, Section 2. Exothermic welding. Exothermic welding is only the railroad welding process covered with the 
might make no sense. The other processes are primarily limited to the shop welding and exothermic welding. It is the end of the rails must be clean. The joint faces parallel. The proper gauge for the line of the joint preheat of the However, the production joints may be used in shop, but their other field does not necessarily produce the consistent strength, and so the following precautions should be taken. <laughs> One, detailed welding procedures must be prepared. All procedures for the production welding must be qualified before welding starts. Complete weld must be visually inspected there. If there are any blowouts or voids or welded joints, should be replaced. Visual inspection must be not used for the acceptance of the completed weld. Inter de internal defects or lack of fusion slag inclusion, porosity, and cracks might not be visible. Unfortunately, no method are entirely suitable for the inspection of the rail welds and made with the exothermic process. Three, radiographic ultrasound inspection must be included with the contractor's specification. However, these approaches are not common and completely satisfactory in the radiographic examination except excess metal must be removed from the web of the rail and the joint of the ground smooth um, ground is smooth however since the varied thickness of the are still involved the method is hard to use the result of the mo but may be inclusive portable ultrasonic inspection equipment is commercially available but the very sensitive and proper the setup of the may indicate non-existence and significant defect of the magne magnetic particle inspection is used for gas pressure weld the flash weld the rail but not is suitable for the rail welds made by exothermic process Railroad personnel generally um, use spare, spare rail detector cars to inspect the rails for the track to be, is being used. Um, for rooms, the thermal expansion must be provided with the continuous weldage rail and is designed with the construction normally done with the restraining of the rail joint bar and friction the, at the ends of the end subjects and the accumulated restraint. For successive ties, the rails are usually laid at the as to give zero restraint at all anticipated mean temperature. Short buffer rails, which are frequently installed at a regular um, intervals along with the track allow a three-eighths of an inch movement for each of the rail end without bending of the joint bolts. These buffer rails will make adjustments easier when the continuous weld rail is laid at temperatures above below the means. All right, seven four seal casting. Generally, weldability seal casting is incompatible with um, with the route, 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 route seal cast seals are usually welded in order to join one cast item to another. Route seal route, 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 route steel items are no repaired to repair defects of the damaged casting. The weldability of the seal is primarily the function and composition of the heat treatment. Therefore, the procedure for the precautions required for welding through steel is also applied with the cast steel. Similar composition of the heat treatment and strength of weld casting can be sometimes be simplified by first considering the load in the area being welded and often the actual strength needed in the weld castings are often complex. Special analysis may be required only upon the part of the entire structure, but when the welding section a welding of the section of the seal casting does not require the full length strength of the casting. One of one can sometimes of the lower strength welding rods of the wires or the parts being welded on the casting uh, on casting can be lowered can be lower the strength and leaner analysis than the cast steel part under such conditions the deposited um while the, while the metal usually matches only the strength of the lower the strength member with the heat uh, heat treatment electrode the necessary welding sometimes can be done with the before heat finalizing heat, final heat treating after being subject to authentic authenticizing treatment heating above the upper critical temperature welding deposits within the carbon contents less than 12 per, um, twelve um, hundreds of a percent usually have the lower mechanical properties that they have been as as, as welded in stress relief conditions. Well, the joint design of the structure weld, the joint design of the um, cast steel weldments are similar to those used in the Roth, Roth Steel American Welding Society D11-1, Section 2, but the and its design criteria with the welding connections and listed pre-qualified joint designs. Any other type of the joint design may be qualified before being used in the structure when designing a welding connection. One, one should consider the type of the welding process that will be used, the strength of the filler metal, and the welding axis to the joint. Recommended filler metal of the joints of the electro filler metal is based on the type of the cast steel being used with the strength need of the, of the joints and post weld treatment treatment. When welding carbon alloy, alloy cast steels, the electro um, is recommended with comparable wrought steel and the steel plate should be used. When cast on scenic steel and the steels are joined to either the cast or root um, ferretic ma metallics materials on um, the proper filler metal depends on the surface conditions. If If surface temperature is low, is low below 600 degrees Fahrenheit, the stresses are moderate with a high, low, uh, high alloy austenitic stainless steel, such as the type 309 and 310, is generally used for the surface condition under the high temperature stresses. Um, high temperatures and stress, high nickel welding metal, 70% metal, nickel, 70% um, nickel, 15% chromium are better um, because their thermal expansion is closer than that of the ferretic materials. High nickel welded metal can retard carbon mitigation, and this weld. Uh, metal should be used with a technique to reduce nickel dilution of the ferretic material. 
7.5. Dissimilar combinations. Fabric, um, fabrication procedure often combined with the cost of acetic and the ferritic metals. The cost of authentic, authentic materials and raw ferritic materials. Each of the combination presents a distinct problem. Dissimilar metals are often used with the surface coating with the carbon seals, and there are problems in, so, in selective of the process technique causing the minimum, 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 dilution, minimum dilution. This ensures freedom of the underbed of the welding crack and improves the quality of the surface deposit. The proper technique of the materials are similar to those of the raw materials. American Welding Society source of the welding equipment. Metal supplier can provide more information with successful welding and satisfactory services with weldments of many of these combinations. Data not available for these resources may have to be obtained by testing. All right, seven six coated and clad materials. Composite composite materials. Composite materials are often structured to retain special properties. The general thicker supporting layer of the base metal is bounded with the thin layer of the another metal, often more expensive, which has the, has desirable properties that may include the corrosion resistant, thermal, electroconductive, the abrasion resistant, and decorative appeal. The com composite composites are may be obtained. But in several processes such as plating, cladding, lining, and weld overlay welding before the coating. One must consider how the welded metal coating metal can each other affect each other. If, for example, the welding operation may damage for the coating, the coating may adversely affect the weld. The welding clad plate or applied liner construction or other operation must control the dilution of the welded material. One, two metals meet the joint preparation, penetration, electrode selection, welding process, welding techniques as are important conservation of welding clad materials applied with liners. Detailed information is also American Welding, welding Society Welding Handbook, Section 5. Galvanized steel. When possible, the welding should be done first. Since galvanizing over welds is easily steel uh, steel already galvanized can be um, welded either to electrical arc gas or welding ga and well, gas welding processes. Um, but the zinc coating next to the weld may be damaged this um, much that it might not protect the steel. Thus, the coating must be applied to the weld joint to protect it from the corrosion. The joint may be designed so that the galvanized steel is subject to tensile and strength uh, during welding upon cooling. The stress metal cold fracture when the molten zinc of the zinc vapor penetrates the weld the joint before the weld. Therefore, the zinc should be removed from all joint surface and strength members. This should be done far enough to, um, from the expected toes of the weld to prevent this such embrittlement. Light gauge galvanized sheet metal may be welded with a gas, me gas, me me gas metal arc welding without substantial damage to the galvanized this can be done with a forest bronze filler metal. The carbon arc process can be used with, the fit with or without silicone bronze filler metal. More information on welding zinc coated steel is in American Welding Society D19.0. Chapter 8 Inspection Procedures.